Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me again. Well, I'm playing with time today. Down here at Shulston Pool in Brixham. And I'm going to try different shutter speeds and different camera effects playing with time. Let's see what we find, shall we? So let me explain what I'm doing. I've got the camera lined up looking at the corner of the pool. I've got a 10 stop ND filter on which is like a pair of sunglasses for the camera. And I'm using a remote shutter for this one because I've got the camera in bulb mode which means I can just hold the shutter open for as long as I like. This camera will only go to 30 seconds on its own so I need the remote shutter anyway experimenting a little bit with different uh, shutter speeds anything from a minute to maybe four or five minutes and as long as I can keep the camera still on this tripod a little bit windy this morning then let's see what we get shall we So it's going to be a little difficult to show you what's actually happening in the back of the camera because it's just very dark isn't it but you can see it's in bold mode i've got it at f13 at the minute i say 50 i could probably put it up to 100 maybe and i'm just using the uh, remote shutter So, this first shot of the day of the railings on the corner of the pool was a two minute shutter speed, f11, using my 16 to 55 millimeter lens. And I've left the uh, concrete in at the uh, foreground, really just to show you what the image looks like. But this is what I was after, trying to isolate just the railings, smoothing out all of the water. And again, a long shutter speed. This was four minutes, still at 55 millimeters and F11. At four minutes, it's really difficult to get 
the camera still for that length of time, but uh, not a bad effort. As the light and the scene keeps changing, I might try the 30 second shaft speed as well. With that increased shutter speed of 30 seconds you can see that there's much more definition and a bit more movement in the water. So just continuing to play with time. Please let me know in the comments below whether you prefer the uh, more smoother image or this with a little bit more texture. Anyway, I had another idea in my head. Started off with this square crop which I quite like and stands on its own with the uh, horizon on the top third and the railings on the bottom third. But this was what I was imagining. Trying to make a quite different photo from the corner of the pool just by flipping the image over, matching them together to make this mirror image. Still that definition in the water and quite a nice blue colour to it. And then I tried a, a similar image with this. All I've done is increase the exposure. So it's taken out some of the texture from the water to make it look very smooth really highlighted the railings and isolated them in the centre of the photo. Again, let me know in the comments which you like. So settings wise, 55mm f11 to get some depth of field, nice and sharp, 30 second shutter speed and ISO 50. Probably my favourite shot of the day. There's lots of other things to photograph around the pool. I quite like this uh, David Hockney style sort of picture just here. And of course there's the compass artwork that I featured in the time lapse in the intro. This was painted by Mark Bell, an artist based in Brixham. So Mark has a shop down on Bolton Street so if you're in Brixham please pay him a visit. He runs uh, clubs and workshops for all abilities and ages. I particularly like the sound of his uh, Friday night uh, art clubs but there's lots of other workshops. One that I've just missed is this one. Mark paints pictures of mermaids and there was a mermaid workshop for everybody. The compass artwork itself really brightens up this ordinary slab of concrete by the pool and makes a wonderful foreground for this moody sky. Faster shutter speed this time, 1 13th of a section, second at f14, 16 millimeter. Probably my second favourite shot of the day. Also, this one filling the bottom of the frame with a compass, using the points to lead you up into the distance. Again, a lovely moody sky behind and a nice shot. Mark has a Facebook page, which I'll uh, link in the description. Below. Well, I think I'm losing the light. There's a bit more cloud coming over now and I can 
start to feel spots of rain. So I think I'm going to call it a morning. It's been quite nice, not much of a sunrise, but it's been fun trying to get some good photographs of the pool. Hope you enjoyed uh, this sort of instructional video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything and hopefully I'll see you all again somewhere next week. But for now, cheerio.